MathCAD Prime 1.0 has been redesigned to enable engineers to focus on their engineering calculations while automatically creating a live design document. The graph paper environment helps to convey this, alleviating the reformatting of typical engineering scratch pack content for subsequent readability. Not only is this format natural for engineers, it also helps to organize content as it snaps to the underlying grid and inherently establishes clear calculation order within the worksheet. The user interface is intuitive, especially for those users that have become accustomed to the ribbon in Microsoft Office 2007. The ribbon content is logically organized based on the task at hand in order to prevent multiple drop-down menu selections by consolidating appropriate actions within each tab. Here, a variety of text and paragraph formatting changes can be made quickly and easily from within the formatting tab. Likewise, the document tab controls appearance settings within the worksheet of the document itself such as turning on and off the grid, changing the grid size, the page size, orientation, or margin size. Also, page or draft modes allow for use of either the document page space or more of a whiteboard calculation space for mathematical testing and exploration. Headers and footers are easily accessed from within the ribbon or simply by double-clicking in the header or footer area of the page itself, such as intuitively expected when working with Microsoft Word. A grid is available in the header and footer, and various metadata such as the page number and total pages are available for insertion. Navigating between headers, footers, and the main document is as simple as clicking. No more frustration working with print preview, page setup, and printer settings and hoping for the best. In MathCAD Prime, what you see is truly what you get. There's no print preview. This particular MathCAD worksheet runs through a number of analyses in determining the optimum CAM profile for a given set of input conditions. We use this to demonstrate some of the features and capabilities of the application. First, a new concept called a spec table allows users to concisely organize their variable specifications in a tabular fashion. Here, a column, and hence a new variable, is added for the number of angular positions calculated. As you can see, changing the content in the spec table, whether a single variable or an array in the form of a column, the content behaves like any other variable change. Unit management has always been a hallmark of MathCAD. Like previous versions of MathCAD, mathematical operations are constrained by the units of the variables involved. Units can be changed easily, and when an operation is attempted with incompatible units, the user is clearly notified. MathCAD Prime 1.0 has actually further improved the use of units throughout the application by enabling such things as mixed units and matrices and full dynamic unit support in constructs like programs and plots. MathCAD has retained almost all of its 600 plus functions. Some have been consolidated, other new ones have been added, and still others improved. As you can see here, we've also added an enhanced function browser that enables categorized viewing and a quick search option for functions by either name or description, of course followed by insertion from the tool into the worksheet. While MathCAD Prime has task-based tabs and numerous controls in the ribbon, Shortcut keys have also been retained to further accelerate workflows. Here, Greek characters are toggled using Control G, such as the commonly used P Control G sequence for Pi. Note too that mathematical constants such as Pi are labeled green here. This concept of labels in MathCAD Prime allows users to visually and mathematically distinguish like named constructs, such as using M for units of meters, as well as M as a variable name for mass. This can now be accomplished in the same worksheet by using labels without causing confusion or unexpected calculation results. Programming has re-evolved in MathCAD Prime. Again, a variety of commands and programming structures are available for insertion from the ribbon, followed by creation of the appropriate placeholders for intuitive completion. Commands can also be typed in directly followed by control J to commit them as programming constructs and create the placeholders.
As you can see, we've updated the commonly used if else if loop to match users' expectations, and as always, retain that standard math notation for ease of readability, even when buried within a program loop. Keyboard shortcuts to create commonly used constructs are also available. Within the entire application, there are many more direct control options for content in the document, designed to be less obtrusive to the working area of the worksheet. This is achieved through use of the ribbon and through direct manipulation of objects in the canvas. In this example, the ribbon can be used to set attributes such as trace styles and colors, tick mark visibility, a plot background, visibility of access expressions, and logarithmic scaling, for example. Other access specific attributes such as min, max, and step values, as well as access positioning, are actually all set directly within the plot itself. Multiple markers can now be added to a plot and positioned by dragging, by direct entry, or even by variable assignment. As always, the plots remain live and update as the driving functions or the data in the worksheet are updated. MathCAD Prime has retained and improved its ability to create a solve block as a mechanism for solving more complex systems of equations. Here, as an interesting example, an ordinary differential equation, or ODE solve block, will be used to calculate and eventually plot the cam displacement from the equations describing the cam's acceleration profile. Within MathCAD's new help system, users can search for examples, create their own bookmarks, add notes, and even gain access to PTC's Learning Connector for training and videos on pertinent help topics. Within Help, users often find similar examples and then copy the contents into their own working worksheet as a starting point for their own solution. Here, an ODE solve block is copied into the worksheet and then edited to solve the problem at hand. Solve blocks are now container regions within the worksheet canvas in order to help distinguish the extents of the solve block and to aid in understanding variable passing into and out of the region. Labels have been introduced to help guide the user in setting up the solve block with indicators for guess values, constraints, in the solver itself. While this is a simple edit, users will find MathCAD Prime's Equation Editor to be much more intuitive than it was previously, making it much simpler to scope and edit expressions and allow for rapid reuse of equation level content. After solving, another plot is quickly created using the plot tab in the ribbon and entering the x and y axis expressions. As noted previously, units are now fully supported in plots. Axis limits are easily adjusted and the plot is resized by a simple drag. MathCAD Prime also has the ability to read and write data files, one of the most common of which is Microsoft Excel. A file reference can of course be typed directly as a function argument, or as shown here, a file reference to an updated Excel workbook can quickly be made using a dialog to graphically select the workbook, the sheet, and then the desired data range.
Here, a quick output array from the Excel input data is created, and the displayed size is changed using the drag area at the bottom of the array. Resizing and panning within matrix results are simplified now with more graphical feedback in MathCat Prime. Calculated results from the data file are used to generate pressure angle curves for the entire revolution of the can. Engineers can then easily compare this to documented empirical best practices to establish the optimal design parameters for the operating rotational speed of the can. With the optimal design parameters established, the CAM profile is generated in a polar plot within MathCAD Prime. As an additional benefit, this profile data can then be passed directly into Creo Elements Pro to directly drive the resulting geometric model. Here, a simple change is made by adding another trace to the plot through the use of the ribbon. Alternatively, Shift-Enter could have also been used as a shortcut to do so. Overall, a number of changes have certainly been introduced with MathCAD Prime 1.0. The ribbon is a large part of that, but many other object workflows have also been updated, all done with the target of making our engineers' time much more efficient within the application.